a game. Children, let us see some children playing games. Gampu says, Run, 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 run. Gampu says, Make a group of three. How many groups were formed? One, two, three, four, five. Five groups were formed. Are there three children in each group? Check. How many groups do not have three children? Let's check that. Well, all the groups do not have three children. There is one group which does not have three children. How many groups of three children are there? One, two, three, four. That's correct. Four groups of three children are there. Division Preparation Saroj has 10 beads. If each child is to get 2 beads, how many children will get the beads? Now Saroj has 10 beads. Saroj will give each child 2 beads. This is the first child. He gets us 2 beads. Now this is the second child. He gets his two beads too. This is the third child. He gets his two beads too. Now the fourth child gets the two beads. And in the last, fifth child gets the two beads. All the beads are finished. That means all the ten beads are distributed. Now let us count the total number of children who got two beads. One. Two, three, four, five. So in all, five children got two beads each. Manish has fifteen flowers. How many children will get the flowers if each child is given three flowers? Now Manish has fifteen flowers. He gives three flowers out of these to first child. Three flowers to the second child. Three flowers to the third child. Again three flowers to the fourth child. Three flowers to the fifth child. Now the flowers are finished. Manish has distributed all his fifteen flowers. Let us count the total number of children who got three flowers each. They are one, two, Three, four, five. So five children got three flowers each. Sagar has twenty chalks. How many children will get the chalk if each child is given five chalks? Now Sagar has twenty chalks. He distributes five out of these to first child, then five chalks to the second child. Five chalks to the third child and the remaining five to the fourth child. Chalks are finished. He has distributed all the twenty chalks. Now let us count the total number of children. One, two, three, four. So four children got five chalks each. Salim has 16 beads. How many children will get the beads if each child is given 4 beads? Salim has 16 beads. He gives 4 beads to the first, 4 to the second child, 4 to the third child and last remaining 4 to the fourth child. Now all the beads are distributed among the children. Let us see the total number of children. One, two, three, four. So four children got four beads each.
Division Preparation Saroj has 10 beads. If each child is to get 2 beads, how many children will get the beads? Now Saroj has 10 beads. Saroj will give each child 2 beads. This is the first child. He gets his 2 beads. Now this is the second child. He gets his 2 beads too. This is the third child. He gets his 2 beads too. Now the fourth child gets the 2 beads. And in the last, fifth child gets the 2 beads. All the beads are finished. That means all the 10 beads are distributed. Now let us count the total number of children who got 2 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in all, 5 children got 2 beads each. Manish has 15 flowers. How many children will get the flowers if each child is given 3 flowers? Now Manish has 15 flowers. He gives three flowers out of these to first child, three flowers to the second child, three flowers to the third child, again three flowers to the fourth child, three flowers to the fifth child. Now the flowers are finished. Manish has distributed all his fifteen flowers. Let us count the total number of children who got three flowers each. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 children got 3 flowers each. Sagar has 20 chalks. How many children will get the chalk if each child is given 5 chalks? Now Sagar has 20 chalks. He distributes 5 out of these to first child, then 5 chalks to the second child, 5 chalks to the third child, and the remaining 5 to the fourth child. Chalks are finished. He has distributed all the 20 chalks. Now let us count the total number of children. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, Four children got five chalks each. Salim has sixteen beads. How many children will get the beads if each child is given four beads? Salim has sixteen beads. He gives four beads to the first, four to the second child, four to the third child, and last remaining four to the fourth child child. Now all the beads are distributed among the children. Let us see the total number of children. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 children got 4 beads each.